Anybody, if anybody got the least bit upset yesterday, to me, that speaks volumes for why we use D and D. How is it that, I mean, the the reason, the how of why you got identified so quickly with this, what amounts to a silly little game, doesn't really matter. The fact that doing the D and D can suck you in that quickly and capture your interest is definitely useful. If you get upset about anything, it's an indicator, it's a flag, an indicator that something is wrong with you. It's true. So you need to actually learn what's wrong with you and deal with it. And the only way to do that is to keep tickling that dragon, keep, uh, keep scratching at that thing until it stops itching. And so we've developed a game which in itself is nothing. It's a piece of crap. It's nothing. It's just some pieces of paper and some, and some pewter figurines and some made-up things, and it's no big deal. If you get upset over that, how much more upset are you going to get when your boss unexpectedly hands you a pink slip and says you're fired? How much more upset are you going to be when you come back to find your spouse in bed with your best friend? A scenario that I'll bet you've never heard. How much more upset will you be when you buy a... a how much more upset would you be when, if, if somebody were to... How much more upset are you going to be when you get on a bus with your last... How much more upset are you going to be... Uh, when you go, when you pick up your wallet or your purse to discover that somebody has rifled all the money out of it. And uh, how much more upset would you be when, if, you, if you're your child, how much more upset would you be when you uh, go to the doctor to get an ordinary checkup and only to discover that you have... So if you can get upset about a piece of paper and some pewter figurines and some made-up names and a made-up situation, you need to really take a good look at yourself. I don't know that anybody did get upset yesterday, but if they did, ha, ha, ha! You, you certainly needed that push. If you got upset yesterday, then good for us. We've done a, a service to you because there's nothing that we did that could have upset you or should have upset you. Nothing. So, or not, and nothing you did that should have upset you or could have upset you. Unless there's a hook there, you're not going to catch a fish. But, and the wonderful thing about the, uh, the D&D is that it can hook you. And when I say it can hook you, almost every single person that I've ever seen sit down to the table, no matter how much previous experience they had or didn't have, they get sucked in very, very quickly, which it, it's so much easier than having to engineer going to the doctor and having a bad medical uh, checkup. So this is a cheap way of engineering situations and conditions for you. And it's what we could, you could call juicy. There's a lot of there's a, a lot of potential here. Yeah. So you should be you should be happy if you were unhappy. Because that <laughs> that indicates that yo here's a here's some territory that I can work, and have a chance of getting some distance, some some pullback, so that I can observe and uh, maybe even make some modifications. So if you were bummed out yesterday, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. Yeah. I shouldn't say you deserve it. I, I meant to say tough shit. Live with it. Deal with it. Yeah, deal with it. 
Yeah. Of course, there's a question from Piff. Yeah, like I would, I would be hard pressed to find a, 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 a any time where there wasn't a question from Piff. Go ahead. She wants to know: Is that only if you're upset? Uh, what about being hooked other ways? What about silence, boredom, apathy, giddiness, uh, or not so obvious appearances of emotion? What about flat out inattention? Is or is it just or seduction? Okay. Or stupidity, or carelessness, or uh, yeah. Those things are all um, indicators or what are called symptoms. And the symptomatology is a list that's so long I can't even present it here. I do need, by the way, that character generator. Yeah, the, the, the use of the one symptom, which would be upset. Um, it's just, an, it's yeah, just, it's just a... It's just a placeholder. You can... You can remove that particular symptom and put in any other symptom that you happen to notice in yourself and, uh, and others. Yeah. Well, boredom is actually a type of upset. If it's, you examine yeah. it carefully, boredom and inattention are kinds of upsets. And so you, you can label it any way you like, or you can say, well, it's this kind of upset that I'm having, the kind of upset that results in boredom or inattention or... Uh, disrespect or carelessness or stupidity or uh, downright sleep, whatever it might be.